it's been a while since I've released an album. So it's it's a bit, you know, it's, it's the way of presenting it to people is uh, feels strange because I've been living with these songs for quite some time on my own and then suddenly have to play it to people. You know, I'm not used to that anymore. My name is Richard J. Parfit. I play guitar on the record. My name is Mako. Makoto Sakamoto, actually. And I'm a drummer. I am I played on this album. My name is Jasper and I've played the bass for her. Uh, bass guitar. Me and him have just done some other stuff with Mike who's producing it and then we started doing this and then it seemed to be a good vibe and then they just wanted to go ahead and we did the whole album. I'm Jer, opened the engineer for the album. Making sure everything's recorded correctly and um, just helping Mike, I suppose, and Lena getting their ideas into the speakers. Or just about there. We should just start with this song. The thing with Another Day is it's quite wordy song but Lena wanted it as slow as possible and to do a song, mid-tempo songs are, are, are very difficult to get the feel of and so we spent quite a long time on that, mm. actually getting that and we did change the tempo around several times until we were really happy with it. Well, we managed that, I think. We did manage that. Yeah.
it's so personal some of the lyrics and you know even though some of them are not about me people can easily think that they are and that's one of the reasons why I never really say what they are about because I think uh, one thing is of course that I want people to make their own you know story to the songs but it's important for me to just sort of, okay, so it's out there, but I still have to keep them a bit close to myself. A lyric is not just a set meaning, it's an overall feeling, I think. If I hear a song, I want to create my own little story to it. I don't want to know exactly what it is about. And sometimes, actually, when I've been listening to a song and then suddenly I read an article and then they actually say what the song is about, and I'm like, that's not what I thought, and it's just, you know, it just doesn't, then suddenly it just, oh, why did you say that? Why did I have to read that? Faces is just, uh, I'm happy when, I, I was happy when I wrote it, and I'm happy when I think about it. Now I actually wish that, that I could tell you what it's, what it actually is about, but yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, I was happy when I wrote that song. In this room, I wrote five of the songs on the album, just sitting in here, just listening to the guys working downstairs. 
and just the whole inspiring uh, environment for some reason I just managed to just even though there were a lot of noise people you know running up and down the stairs and still I just had this feeling that wow the songs sort of just came to me. You know she wrote the songs and then we kind of all uh, developed it together I guess or like you know tried out different ideas so I guess we were you know involved in some of the creative process and like arrangement for bass and drums and guitars and stuff like that. It's her records her songs and she has to be in control. I think it shows a lot of um, you know the strength of character that she's able to tell three you know older guys what exactly what she wants. You know, I think it's definitely positive. Can I turn back time? I wish yet to come true. The same thing I think. They're making up this story. No, um, um, that one. Oh, ah, sorry. You weren't there. I enjoy that song a lot. It's actually, it has a bit of energy and it's, it's fun playing it. Mike is, you know, always very sensitive to, to Lena's ideas and ta takes everything on board and vice versa. Len is quite is very flexible in that regard too. I always sound like a diplomat, but it's it's a very easy, natural relationship. Hello. Hey. Hi. <laughs> it's very intuitive, I think. I think uh, 
that can read each other very well. There was moments where it was a little, almost a little bit too emotional in a way for me sitting there thinking, stop listening for a minute because this is, this is quite an intense lyric and quite an intense song and things. And I thought, I want to try and stay detached from it. There was one particular song when we were doing the vocal that I had to actually think, right, don't listen to the song, listen to it as a performance and listen to it as individual pieces of music.
I don't mind. Uh, hold on. It's yeah. just for the person that has a bridge where you actually yeah. go. Yeah. Sometimes the lyrics to a song can be a bit sad, and then actually the melody has a little more hope. So it actually, it's a sort of a mixture. So you have a sort of a sad lyric, but then a bit more happy, uh, happy melody. Sorry uh, was a very important song for me. And I guess a few people will wonder who I actually talk about or sing about, but um, you know, it's, it's a song, it actually means a lot to me. So it's definitely had to be on the album. I really like, uh, I've just heard heard it all again, I like My Love, which is the really quiet, uh, lean song. My Love was the last song that I recorded. Uh, it was actually the last song that I wrote. So we actually, we already had the album almost like, the, we had all the songs, we knew which songs we were going to use. But then I just wrote this song and I said, well, I have to have this one. So let's just throw out another song and just bring this one in. And we did. And we. 
yeah, we all felt really pleased about that. It's actually, I didn't play on it, funnily enough. The only person playing on it is Lena. I started out with the chorus and I thought, oh, that's good. Let's just, let's just write some more about it. And I just kept going. She went in and did an acoustic version on her own. I mean, I think it's one of the best songs on the right now. Please come and find me, my love I'm ready now to come home Please come and find me, my love Let's leave this place Let's leave now Shouting in the way Can you hear me? Can you see me, my love? I'm drawing in the sand Can you see me? I hope that You are with me You always will be Please come and find me, my love I'm ready now Come and find me, my love Let's leave this place Let's leave no train Can you feel me, my love? I'm hurting so Come and find me, my love I'm ready now to come home Please come and find me, my love Let's leave this place Melody and the lyrics are just, just as important 
If I have lyrics, that that's actually the most, that's the hardest thing when I'm, I have to write melody for a lyric because if a lyric means something, I just have to sort of just work my way around it and just find the right mood for the song. So I, I just, I, I prefer doing it both at the same time, if I'm able to. Against the Arrows, that's like a six minute song. So that's actually, that's actually, I mean, we played with a band and uh, the band was standing, you know, in the, you know, in the studio and I was in the control room. We started doing that song and it just lasted and lasted. No one wanted to stop. So it, it actually, we, it went on for 10 minutes. And I sort of, I just, I just sang, you know, when the lyrics and I sort of finished and then just the band just kept going and I'm like, okay, so let's do this again then. So I, I just, we just, yeah, it lasted for 10 minutes and everyone was just feeling so happy about that afterwards. And it, ha it just had that great feel to it. And I think for me also, when I actually see the band enjoying it, when they're actually enjoying the songs and they love playing it, that's, you know, that, that makes me a bit, I get very happy when I see that. Here. I'm here, 
I guess I always feel a bit lonely when I write my songs because I mean they're my lyrics and it's, it's just uh, I, I won't say less lonely but it was more fun definitely because you just knew that if if you were able to write a song or two that day you could actually just have the band play it straight away and you would actually hear it straight away so that was that was that was fun I think this is the best way to do it because you get everything so you work with the bands and you work actually uh, it's so natural it's so easygoing and actually helps to create the mood that I'm after it was a very natural thing it just it went from us being told that we were doing a small amount of songs and then it suddenly it grew instantly into an album. Yeah, sorry. I believe the first track we recorded was Disguise. I never really followed the trend in the music industry. I think you can't decide what's going to be the next thing or 
Let's try and copy this because it's been done already. I just record a Lena as Lena, as simple as that. I've never thought whether it's current, whether it's, I think it's, the music is so strong, it's timeless in a way, and I don't think we need to try and fit in with anybody. I generally avoid strings. I know it sounds odd because I always end up, all my records end up with strings. <laughs> but I generally say a song does not need strings. No. But this is a big, dark, moody song, and I thought strings strings would sound lovely on it straight away. They're not happy strings and bright they're, and. They're definitely not happy <laughs> strings. <laughs>
I've just had a great time working here and just just being able to come in and just work with this fantastic team of people and even uh, having so much fun doing it. I mean, it never felt like work somehow. I tell you the truth, it's been hard. <laughs> never ask an engineer what time of day it is or try to keep track of months or years. It was great fun and uh, one of the best projects I involved and I had a great time. Yeah, it's always exciting to play good songs. It's an amazing album. Pretty work intensive. It's a pure pleasure as a musician. It's very enjoyable. The moment we just realised that, oh, it ha has been a long day, when Mako, the drummer, actually started feeling a bit tired, because yeah. he is always the energetic guy, really, just sort of feeling it and yeah. just so into it. And he was just, you know... He was starting to get... Yeah. <laughs> then we knew, then we knew we were in trouble. And then we knew. <laughs> Mike, you're right. Next time I will go get a professional. Which one do you want to do next, bud? Uh, another day. Another day. Okay. <laughs>